Okay, I wanted to do a short video and explain all about this ruler that I carry on my website. This ruler is the only ruler I use if I am doing free motion straight line quilting. It's unique, and I'll show you that in a minute. I got a couple of real basic things to cover before we start. Um, this is how it'll look when you get it. It does have a protective backing on the back, so do make sure that you take that off because it should be a clear ruler. And this is the Four Paws Quilting. It's called a Line Tamer. And notice that it has quite a few markings on it. Um, I'm just going to be covering just plain old straight line um, quilting today. So let's get started. A couple of things before I we even start. Number one, you do need a ruler foot to do ruler work. You cannot do it without a ruler foot. And I uh, am strongly opinionated you need to buy the ruler foot for your machine. Do not buy a generic ruler foot. They're awful. They really are. Just take my word for it. You don't want to go there. Uh, it is useful to have a, a, a single stitch uh, throat plate. That's a, you don't have to have that. It just gives you a little better stitch. And I don't free motion quilt without some sort of a slider. Uh, this makes everything just go much more smoothly and it's easier on your body when everything goes more smoothly. So let's look at actually using the ruler. Okay, I've got a charity quilt in front of me and uh, just let's say I want to do some stitch in the ditch. I can do this uh, free motion quilting and when I free motion quilt as opposed to having my walking foot on, I don't have to flip my quilt at all. I'm flipping my ruler to go the different ways that I want to go. And that is huge, especially when you're working with a larger quilt. Um, so let's get started. I, I've lined uh, the, the center line on my ruler up with the, the uh, line that I want to quilt. And I'm securing it by um, putting my thumbs here. And I've got uh, pressing against, I've got my middle finger, and then on top, I've got my uh, pointer finger. That's going to hold my ruler nice and steady, and now I'm just going to start free motion quilting. And that line is totally smack dab right up against my um, my line that I want to quilt. So just say, like right here, just say I want to quilt this line right here. I just moved my ruler. I didn't move my quilt. I moved my ruler. I actually went one stitch too far. So I am going to go back one stitch. And now do you see this? I'm going to I'm going to quilt this line and I don't have to worry about flipping my quilt. And I just want to make this a quick demo, so I just want to show you that. And the other thing I want to show you is all other straight line rulers that I am aware of just have a straight line. So just pretend that this is um, every other ruler on the market. I've just got a straight line there that I'm going to snug my foot up against. Well, all that's fine and dandy. But if I kind of lose concentration, I end up going out here. Oh, look, see, I went away from my ruler. Now I don't have a straight line anymore. And that is so easy to do. I'm kind of white on white there, but you can see, um, you can see that, you know, I don't have a straight line anymore. So there's good reasons why you want to use a ruler like this. And that's why I am a fan of the Four Paws uh, Line Tamer Ruler, which I do carry on my website. Write me if you have any questions.